Hello friends, welcome to this new lab. In this lab, we are going to see how to configure OpenVPN in AWS. Let's see the architecture first. In one region, we'll configure one VPC with internet gateway. We'll configure one public subnet. In public subnet, we'll configure OpenVPN instance. So we'll configure one private subnet also. In private subnet, we'll create test instance. This is for testing purpose. So we can access this test instance uh, using this private IP address from our machines. So from internet, we can able to access this uh, OpenVPN instance once it is uh, configured. So once it is accessible from internet, from our machines, we can access this open instance and uh, install uh, OpenVPN client in our local machines. So we can uh, access this test instance using this OpenVPN connection. Let's see the steps now. Basically, these are the steps we are going to follow during this lab. We'll create a VPC and create the internet gateway and attach to this uh, VPC and default route towards this internet gateway in this VPC and we'll create uh, subnets, private and public and we'll launch OpenVPN EC2 instance in public subnet. Then we'll configure OpenVPN and create the users. Then we'll install uh, OpenVPN client in our local machine. We'll create uh, this test EC2 instance in a private subnet. Then finally, like uh, we'll test this uh, connectivity from local machine to private uh, test PC with this uh, private IP. So this is overall idea, guys. So let's jump into our AWS console now. Okay, this is our AWS console. Now I'm in US East One region. Let's start with VPC creation now. So click on VPC. Create VPC. So only VPC I'm creating. This is open VPN. VPC it is. I'm taking the subnet as 10.10.0.0 .10 slash 16. This is the C idea I'm taking for this. You can create VPC. VPC is created now. Let's attach internet gateway to this. Create internet gateway. Just give the name as IGW. Create it in Gateway. Uh, create it and I need to attach this to VPC, right? So just I'm clicking on Attach to VPC. Selecting just now created VPC. Attach to Internet Gateway. Okay, let's create uh, subnets now. Click on Subnets. Create Subnet. Select uh, respective VPC. Give the subnet as let's create with uh, public public subnet ten dot ten dot one dot zero slash twenty four create subnet and uh, let's create private subnet also VPN private subnet. Ten dot ten dot two dot zero slash twenty four create submit to okay now we have a two subnets here let's create a separate routing tables for these both and we'll attach separately to this so click on routing tables this is a default routing table for VPC but let's take a separate routing table to avoid confusion. Create public RT public routing table. So select the VPN. Sorry, VPC. Create route table. Let's create another route table for private private RT. Select VPC. Create so now two route table are ready so but we have to create routes here so if you see public route uh, this is also having same local route and if you click on the private route 
this also have the same uh, local root but uh, nothing is associated with this root table here let's associate a uh, routing table respectively just i clicked on uh, public routing table and i will associate public uh, submit to this one okay edit submit association select public submit save association similarly i will associate this private routing table to private submit private save association so respective routing tables are associated with this submits so now let's create a route so in private route table we no need to create any routes so there, this is only local route is available this is associated to private subnet but in public route we need default route towards internet gateway so let's click on this routes edit routes add routes select the default towards internet gateway select the internet gateway here save changes so now the route tables are ready with the relevant routes in the public route table we have default route towards internet gateway so basic uh, networking infrastructure is ready now so vpc creation done we have created subnets relevant routing tables and internet gateway also attached to this vpc now let's start creating this open vpn server click on ec2 instances click on instances launch instance let's give the name as open vpn server the search with open vpn here let's look at uh, ams marketplace ams here you can see open vpn servers let's select this one click on continue here you can select the type uh, instance type let's take the smaller one let's create a key pair to log into this open vpn initially this time selecting put a related key open vpn key click on create key pair so it's downloaded now so here you can see uh, by default it is attached uh, one subnet and it one and uh, auto assign public ip is disabled but uh, we need to enable this because we should be able to access this server uh, with the internet i mean public ip so edit this and uh, just verify open vpn open vpc is already attached and uh, this is private subnet they attach it here by default but let's select public subnet and uh, select public ip is enabled and if you see this is by default it is creating uh, security profile so let it be because uh, it it already provides the relevant ports service type everything so i am not going to create any new security vpc just i am create i mean using the default one only okay so let it be and uh, just click on uh, launch instance so it's being created success just click on instances and if you see this is running instance this is the previous one and if you see this is a new one this is uh, whatever we are doing here this is the one just let me filter with this one this server server now is still showing in pending let's wait for some more time so it's running but still it is installation state and this is our public ip okay let's copy this and try to do put the session ssh paste over here we have to select the key which we downloaded just few minutes back this is the one open vpn key click on open and let's see okay this is ready i think click on accept and give the name as uh, open vpn as enter it is accepting it's accepted now and if you see it is 
giving some instructions and uh, yes agreement this is okay we will be the primary access from our server is just i'm entering it just i'm hitting enter so it will select the default one so let it be this is for rss key everything okay no problem so let it be open vpn okay 443 admin 943 port should be traffic routed uh, default uh, through the vpn okay just i'm selecting selecting the default actions if required uh, we can uh, change these settings uh, after we log in into this server if required just i'm selecting the default ones here is uh, this is the admin uh, username details open vpn yes and it is asking for password let's give the password here this is for gui page okay with uh, user interface Just say created password for this open vpn user so open vpn uh, is a username to log in into this admin user interface just click on enter so it is initializing open vpn uh, user and it is creating some cluster admin user logins it is saving the configuration so once it is done we should be able to log in into this uh, server using this username and password here we go guys here you can see this is for admin portal and uh, this is for uh, client portal okay so let's take this one this is for admin portal yours so let's copy and paste in the web browser enter so it is showing some authentication as there is no public uh, I mean certificate so it is throwing this error but that's okay so proceed so it, here it is asking for admin login username and password so we have to give uh, the password whatever we created for open VPN user this is admin user admin privileging privileged user this is so Just I entered username and password for admin portal and this is now it is showing some agreement here so let's agree here we go guys we have the portal now this is ready and uh, here you can manage the uh, configuration this is some VPN settings network settings if you observe this is the uh, network settings and if you see uh, this is the host name by default it is taking the host name as the IP address and this is the IP address. This is a local IP address in private uh, public subnet. If you see, and uh, if you click on uh, open VPN settings, so here you can see uh, this will be assigned to the VPN users, and this will be routed to. I mean, this subnet should be able to access from the users. So these are all uh, settings. By default, uh, we can access from VPN to this VPC so whatever we are creating in this VPC we can access now so this is by default settings available uh, in this server but if you want to change we can change this root settings and all but as this is a basic video I'm not going to show all the things if we install open VPN client on our laptop or mobile so we'll receive the IP address once we connect it to the VPN we'll receive the IP address from this range only and uh, we'll be able to access this subnet this is nothing but our vpc subnet so vpn server is ready but uh, we did not create any user yet so we'll create user uh, but before that let's create a test pc in our uh, vpc in private subnet let's jump into our aws console again and uh, EC2. Let's create test uh, VPN. Sorry, test PC machine in 
private submit okay, for testing purpose. Click on instances, launch instance again. Just test PC. Let's select uh, Nissan Linux and uh, select the basic one over here. And key pair, let's create the separate key pair for this to avoid confusion. Test PC key. Let's take the same putty key. Create key pair. It's created and downloaded in, into my system. So here you can see. And uh, let's see, is it selecting the right one or not? Yes, it is selecting the required VPC only. And it's selected already private submit only. And it is disabling public IP address. So it will get only private IP address and destination. So this is good. And uh, we should be able to do SSH into this PC from anywhere. So let it be no problem. I'm not going to change anything for this testing. Just we do SSH for testing purpose. So it is good. Just click on launch instance. So it's launched, I think. Let's go back here and test. This is our OPVPN server and this is test PC. Okay, it is running now. Let's see. So just I will uh, removing this to avoid the confusion. So here is the thing, test PC is running and the OpenVPN server is running. I think uh, let's check the status of this test PC. Yes, we received the private IP address of this and there is no public IP. So by default, uh, we cannot access this uh, server. So from the internet without public IP, but we'll connect uh, through VPN and we'll access this test server using this IP address. So our almost our test uh, PC also ready and open VPN is already there. Open VPN server is installed. So let's install open VPN client on our laptop and we'll access this test PC using this private IP address. Let's test this now. So we need one username now. Let's create user first. Go to OpenVPN server. Here you can see user permissions, authentication, etc. Let's create a user permissions. Click on user permissions. If you see, OpenVPN is a user and it is having admin privileges. Okay. So let's create another user. And this is just test user, let it be. And this is for uh, only to VPN connection, so I'm not viewing any profiles here. Just save settings. So user test added, uh, press button below to uh, propagate the changes to the running server. So update, if I click on update running server, it will be reflected there. So click on newly created uh, user and click on more settings. Here you can see configure user authentication method. So how you should be able to authenticate by default. It is a local and means we have to give the password by default. So, so that uh, it will take. And here we have few more options like um, LDAP, Radius, SAML, PA, Spam. So everything is there. So we can uh, integrate with these for advanced authentication methods. But uh, as this is a testing purpose, just we are doing uh, local only means local will set the password so that it will we can access by using this username test as a username and this password okay so let's see let's give the password for testing purpose just i'm giving okay just i given one password just click on save settings Just click on update running server. So this is good now. And if you see uh, for to look for client, uh, we need to use this URL. Okay. So copy this and paste here. Enter. 
if you see this is open access server and user login this is previously this was for admin and uh, this is showing as user login just uh, enter the details here test and give the password whatever we created we can't sign in so once we connect it to the server it is giving some options open vpn connect recommended for you for your device and uh, these are the devices like i mean it is recommended for windows because mine is windows device and you, here you can see some other options also if it is ios or android apple so everything so mine is uh, this one windows only just uh, i will download this and once it is downloaded so even we can install and then we can connect to vpn so now i am not going to check any other things here the profile management is there change password is there so if you are logging into first time you can change the password here if you want otherwise we can leave it as is okay let's download this client first and uh, let's try to install our pc now i'm downloading it i click down now uh, windows version so it is downloading now so let's see how much time would it take i think it is taking some time so i will pass the video once it is downloaded uh, i will resume it i think it is completed now let's open this folder it's still showing okay it is done i think so let me click on this I'll show all downloads i think still it is showing as downloading let's wait for one more minute yeah it's done now so close this show in folder this is the open uh, vpn connect this is for client so let's run this this is giving some error because it is vpn related so it's, it's some kind of error it shows but okay that's fine so run anyway here started installing here giving some options click on next and this is just agreement accept next click on install it's installing so it is done now it's very simple so i clicked on finish I think it is opening open VPN client page. Okay, this is fine. And uh, here you can see, so just it is giving some instructions here. So what we can find, uh, these are the instructions. That's fine. Just it is asking for agree these terms and conditions. Click done agree. This is some updates. Captive portal, command line, everything it is showing. That's okay. So this is our uh, OpenVPN profile and this is our public IP, if you see, and it is already showing my username also. So it is showing in disconnected state. So currently I cannot access this test PC from here. Let's see. Let's see this. So this is our test PC and this is the IP address, right? Just I'm copying this IP address and I will try to do SSH. This is a session pasting here and I will select the relevant hard key. Browse this is the test PC hard key. So if you see, I will click on open. So it is trying, but nothing right. So it is unreachable because it is not public IP and we don't have any VPN enabled at this moment. That's it. So connection timed out. So there is no connectivity from my PC to this private IP address there. But let's start VPN and uh, try this again. Close this. Open VPN. Click on this one. Asking for password. Just enter it. Click on OK. It's trying to connect. It's connected. VPN is connected now. So let's try the same now. Let's close it. Open. Paste the IP address. Check the R key is corrected or not. Okay, let's browse it again. 
go to session open here we go guys see here it is directly connected with private ip address because of this vpn connectivity only so this is the thing guys let's give the username and password let's see and uh, yeah by default it is ec2 user is the name click on okay yes guys now we are in test pc so from my pc i am able to directly access this test pc by using this vpn connection so let's see if you are checking this and let me disconnect this confirm it is disconnected so immediately it got disconnected because there is no network connection so this is a thing guys uh, this is a uh, like this we can configure uh, we open vpn uh, connection and we can test it and we can access the internal uh, machines by using this open vpn server so i would like to show you more things on this video just uh, turn on now uh, vpn again and i'm giving the password so that it okay so it is connected again so i think this is inactive let me try to restart the session let's see yeah it's asking for username ec2 user disconnected to the server right so in our uh, command prompt also we can check the ip address of this and here also you can check the ip address of this see so these are the settings guys which already there so on our uh, server vpn settings here you can find out this thing right so in this range only we have received this ip address and this is slash 20 so you can check this so even in our command prompt also we can check some uh, ip details ip config slash r see this is my internal ip address and uh, if you scroll up should be able to see this vpn ip address also so this is a vpn ip address tap into set adapter open vpn connect this is the vpn adapter and uh, i think we can check the routing also right so just type root print yeah if you type root print you can see the routes so default route towards uh, my internet uh, gateway this is my router but if you see 10.10.0.0 10 slash 16 it is pointing to in this vpn gateway so that's the reason we are able to access this 10.10 network by using this vpn gateway so okay we have completed this lab now so open vpn aws so in us eastern region we have created vpc with internet gateway and one public subnet and we installed the open vpn instance there and we created private subnet there we launched the test instance and we were able to access this vpn server from internet after that so we downloaded this vpn client from, from the server on our mission after this we have connected to this server then we were able to access this test instance by using vpn connection so hope you enjoy the video guys please subscribe and encourage me for more videos only your subscription gives me more power to make more videos thank you so much for watching bye bye